If you watched our driver installation guide, you will probably have noticed that there are two distinctive update methods available for RME interfaces. Driver updates and flash updates. What looks from the outside like a minor thing can actually have drastic effects on the performance of your system. There is a distinction to be made between a driver update and a firmware update. Basically, a driver update takes care of the software compatibility, thus enabling a better communication between the RME interface and your computer. A firmware update, on the other hand, will upgrade the actual hardware of your interface by optimizing the code for the DSP and the FPGA. This will result in better performance and new features. Because our mixing software Total Mix FX is part of the driver, all changes made to Total Mix FX are automatically included. The newest version of Total Mix FX is therefore just a few clicks away by simply downloading the latest driver from our website. Let's see how we can execute a firmware update. Start off by going to our website rme-audio.com. Under the menu Item Downloads, you'll open the search mask. Choose your appropriate RME product to begin the process. Once you reach the selection window, choose Flash Update and, if necessary, the connector type. After the download, open the folder and start the Flash Update tool. If you get security warnings, click on Open Anyways. In the dialog screen, you can see the current firmware of your RME interface and the new revision. Under Programming Status, you can also check the recommended action. Click on Update if the current revision and the new revision do not match. Now the Flash Update tool will override the firmware of your RME interface. After the successful update, turn the device off and back on again. Now you're finished. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please write them down in our comment section below.